Once again, that's the time to talk to you because we finished our small part. And as I promised, I'm going to show you two examples. I finished two images with local Dutch and burn. That's not uh, full Dutch and burn because our Dutch and burn is not finished yet. But the most important part, part is finished. So I want to show you a few examples, some results and tell you what will be next. So as you could notice, it uh, took a while. Uh, what I have to say with a time when you're going to start working with local Dutch and burn is going to take uh, quite much time but with the time as uh, long as you're going to practice and work very often with dodging and burning your workflow is going to become much faster and also by the actions I'm going to deliver uh, it's supposed to be faster so you shouldn't be worried it if at the first try it's going to take really long because after a few months you will see that your workflow will be going faster and faster and finally at the end of the road it's not taking uh, so much time as it looks so so that's uh, the image after the local dutch and burn i did and maybe you don't see the result straight away however that was the image before and that's after local dutch and burn Let's zoom this in. I haven't checked if everything is uh, really right. I feel some areas here will be to fix. A few more areas will be to fixed. So uh, that's how it looks like. And I feel something under the eye I left, but then um, that's the image before and that's after. You can see there is um, a huge difference. And what I can see a bit more work I could do over here it happens uh, straight after you finish your work we have to have really deeper uh, view on what we did to make it uh, really clear if it's done and also here I still have few parts that I need to work on and also I believe you can see some uh, color shifts on which we're going to talk because it's super important so okay and that's how it looks like and once again before and after what uh, the main difference you can see I did a lot of work on the nose uh, to make it a bit more symmetric uh, it didn't have the really good symmetry before still maybe a few steps I could do over here but as you can see it was um, a very wide and I didn't like how it is it especially here it's because of the face expression a little bit so I try to make to add actually a little bit more of symmetry to the face and I think it worked uh, really well still you can see some work here so as you can see still happens to miss few parts so it's good to correct this at the end now it looks better and I think uh, on the nose the job is really nicely uh, done also on the cheeks let's have a look on the cheeks before and after there wasn't so much but most of the work was such nose and around the eyes over here you can see how it looked before and how it looks after also forehead quite my job and I'm going to see show you how it looked actually um, how the mask looks like because this is the gray layer we were working on so to show you this I'm just going to change into normal and you can see uh, quite much a bit less on the neck there wasn't so much work on the neck if you cannot see this very clearly right now let's just turn on some curve layers and right now I believe it's much more visible for you so I'm just going to turn this off because about this will be next lesson so you can see the all of the black areas are the places we were dodging especially over here around the nose to make it a bit more symmetric and also over here around the lips maybe I could add another curve adjustment layer will be even more visible for you so this is something I just make for now to make really nice visibility okay still this point 
So that's how the mask looks like. That's the result. Uh, we could say this was before. Actually, uh, I cannot show you like this. But um, yeah, quite big amount of work. And also, I have another example. But let me go back to our real work we did. Can turn this all off. I'm going to close this help layer. And this gray and blank, the blank is very important, we're going to work more. I'm going to press Control Command G. I'm going to call this local DB. Also, another example. I believe this image was uh, a bit uh, easier for me, actually, because of uh, not such a huge amount of little shadows. However, you can see still quite much work. Let's see the mask. I'm even going to improve this maybe by another curve. I won't be using the help ones. Quite much uh, work. Uh, not all of the areas here, obviously, was more areas in the shadow. So it's not so visible. There is no need to work so much. But still, some contours on the nose, above the lips a little bit. Here we have everything dark, so we are not need to work. But obviously you're going to get this kind of shape of your after your dodge and burn is going everything with the direction of the face and you're going to get this kind of portrait of your face by dodging and burning. Let's go back. So in this case that was before. You can see I believe very clearly. Maybe let's zoom this in a little bit. That was before. And that's after so it's a really nice change you have to say also I had some of the shadows over here so I fixed them a little bit it didn't look well but still we will be doing some of the color correction and about this I'm going to talk in the next lesson let's have a look on this image and right now our skin uh, looks really well uh, to move on to another part on which I already said so we're going to take her a little bit more about colors on the face right now in our another lesson.